out there. So I had a dream. Um, well, if I, I, I didn't share this here yet. But I had a dream um, two nights ago. What's today? Wednesday. Three nights ago. Sunday night I had a dream. Is that three nights ago? Sunday night I had a dream. In the middle of this dream, I don't know where I was, but I was preaching. And, um, you know, those, those of you that preach, you know, maybe you have dreams about preaching. I don't know. But there were, I don't know where I was, and there was, it was just a blur of people. Like, I couldn't tell you if there was, you know, 10 or 10,000, but most likely it wasn't 10,000. But just a blur of people and I just know that I was just I was just preaching like I don't know what you know I was preaching but I just felt like passionate about whatever it was I was preaching and you know it was the strangest thing so go with me for a minute don't don't tune out <laughs> across the room out of nowhere there's a, a bald eagle and this thing was, I don't know how really big bald eagles are. I think they're pretty big. This thing was this big. It was like this big. And it had beefy legs and big old, they call tal talons, I guess, right? Big old claws. And what I know is that the louder I preached, the meaner that thing looked. And it, like, attacked me. Like, I was scared. I woke up, like, scared. Because I didn't think that, you know, I never thought that an eagle, you know, would attack or whatever. I, I, so it just started attacking my legs. It came at me with the claws and then, and I just woke up. But it was the most like quickly violent thing. And I woke up and I sat up in bed and I just like, I just felt the Lord just saying that, but you gotta just, but you gotta keep on preaching. Like, don't do that. Don't shut down. You gotta keep on preaching. And I just began to pray. And the more I prayed, the more I, I just heard, you know, you hear, but you don't hear audibly necessarily. And I just felt like, like God was saying that this is, this is America right now. That's what that eagle, you know, stood for is that the louder we begin to preach, the angrier people are going to get. And I'm quickly reminded of in, in John where Jesus said, you know, they first hated me. They're going to hate you. Uh, and the more that you reveal about me and the more that you reveal about my word, the more they're going to hate you. And then I had this devotional today. and I don't know if some of you have seen it, maybe already today, but in Jeremiah chapter 1, in verses 11 and 12, it says this, The word of the Lord came to me, Jeremiah. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree, I replied. Verse 12, the Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. And I thought more and more about that, like how those two tie together. That the more that we begin to fulfill the word of God, the more that we begin to preach. You know how many preachers are out there? Like you might not consider yourself a preacher, but I believe the Bible says that every Christian is a preacher. And that it's our duty to get the word of God out there. And so... Anyone who is sharing the word of God and you feel that maybe it's not the right time. Listen, you know, we're salt in this world and we come to season things. We come, to, we don't come to just blast people, but when we begin to, to speak the word of God and fulfill the word of God in our life, then people are going to be offended. And we're not out to offend people, but sometimes it takes that offense to bring people to where God can speak to them and they can. So let's just pray.